Hey folks, Inno here. Today Daisy launched the 1.23 patch on experimental servers. I took a deep dive into the changes, and here's a recap of what I found. While watching the video, think about any comments you might want to leave. I enjoy reading everyone's thoughts on the new changes. There is a new designated marksman rifle, or DMR, with 10 and 20 round magazines. It uses NATO scopes, and it handles really well and packs a punch. This is going to be a new favorite for many players. They have added a couple new items, notably the field shovel, and also a new animation to go along with that. They have added a couple variations of padded gloves, also variations of a winter coif, the OKZK hat, and the new Patushok hat. This one cranks up the style points for sure. I'll definitely be wearing this one. We did get some new models as well. The Firefighter M3S Rack. It doesn't seem like currently there is a drivable version of this. Who knows what the future brings. You can go inside the rack and you can open and close the windows and doors. They have reworked the interior of the large castle towers. So all of the large castle towers across the map are going to have the same change. They've added a whole bunch of wooden platforms and now you're not going to be falling off as easily when you're trying to shoot and run up and down the stairs. It's a little bit safer now. With the old towers, if you held the high ground, you pretty much had a really, really strong advantage. You'll still have some now, but it seems like it's going to even it up at least a little bit. There is a major overhaul to the skybox and its textures. It looks beautiful now. I'm a big fan of just getting immersed in the game and getting lost in the environment. With this new skybox, it really takes it to the next level. These are the things that might be little to some players, but it's a big thing to players like me that really like to be immersed in the game. Excellent change, love it. Good work, Daisy. There are new sounds for deploying fireplaces, crafting fireplaces, deploying improvised explosives, Crafting rags. Washing hands. Cutting planks. Unequipping the pipe wrench. Placing a claymore mine. Placing and arming the improvised explosive. and crafting the hand drill kit. Now for the long awaited Northwest Airfield changes. The fire station is back. If you're an old school DZ player, there was a lot of action in the old times at the fire station on the Northwest Airfield. So it's back, let's see what kind of interaction that brings. I'll do a flyover of the Northwest Airfield that way you can check it out for yourself and see if you can pick anything out. We have another really, really interesting change to player spawns. I think it's going to mix things up quite a bit. If you watched my sneak peek video, I think I was actually pretty close to what's going on. So they're basically testing a new system where for a period of time, players will spawn in a bubble close to each other. And then a couple minutes later, a new bubble will pop up further down the coast. And then all new players spawning will spawn in that bubble for X amount of minutes, however long that is. 
Then once again, a period of time later, a new bubble will pop up and all new players will be spawning in that bubble. Basically, it's going to make a lot more interaction in the spawn zones. Theoretically, you'll be running into a lot more people and maybe you'll be making friends a lot easier. And you know, just like Daisy, it could go either way. It could be crazy spawn town fights, shenanigans, all those things. Or it could be a lot more teaming up with people, finding new friends, going on adventures together. You never know. I think that's a great idea. Bring in more fresh spawns closer together and then see what happens. You can now push a stuck vehicle. This is something we wanted forever and we finally have it. A way to unstuck your vehicle in Vanilla Daisy. So if your vehicle's stuck, go up to it, hold F, and push the vehicle. And there you go, you're unstuck, you're ready to go, and you don't have to do anything wacky like make a fireplace underneath it. There's also been a couple improvements for the M3S. The clutch for the M3S now triggers faster, and there's an increase in the inertia of the M3S. Basically, it just handles better. Once you try it, you'll know what I mean. They slightly adjusted the M1025 off-road vehicle to be able to climb hills easier. They adjusted vehicles for better control in grass. Honestly, all the vehicles I tried just felt really good. Definitely an improvement. There has been some changes to spawn points of weapons on Chinaris. The AS Val and VSS no longer spawn in contaminated zones. They have been moved to high tier military areas and they have been increased in the number of available spawns. But they have moved the VSD and the LAR to contaminated areas and decreased their numbers. So that's right, the VSD and Val are going to be harder to get and there's going to be fewer of them. They have also moved the KA-74, KA-74U, and M-16 to higher military tier spawns. There has also been some weapon spawn changes to Livonia as well. The ASVAL and VSS no longer spawn in contaminated areas. They have been moved to high tier military zones as well. And they have moved the VSD and the AUG from military to contaminated areas and decreased their numbers. Speaking of Livonia, we also got a change to base building inside the Livonia underground bunker. I don't think that ever should have been a thing, but yeah, it's gone now. There's no longer going to be people blocking off the Livonia bunker with 12 different walls and trying to grief the entire server. There's been a ton of fixes. I'll just mention the ones that stuck out to me. Shots fired with double fire is now fixed before it was not registering properly. Now when you fire a double shotty blast or a double blaze blast, you will get both your hits registered. They have also fixed that players were not being staggered by heavy melee attacks sometimes. Now it should be all the time. It says that they fixed an instance of desynced hand slots through the equip action. If this translates to less hand bugs, that would be awesome. It's been a couple changes to the launcher, They've added the server browser, also displays the number of players waiting in the queue. They've added a DLC section. Hmm, I wonder if we can speculate on that. That's for another day. The server browser now displays the time of day on the server. Now when putting a password into the server, it will hide or show the password. Here's an interesting one. They've increased the maximum bandwidth limit of client to server traffic to reduce movement desync when firing weapons. That sounds like a good thing. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but maybe we'll have smoother gunfights. Let's hope so. All right, let me know what you think in the comments. If you did like that video, make sure to hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. I do stream on Twitch a couple days a week. If you want to check me out there, follow me on twitch.tv. As always, have a good one. Take it easy. Peace.